That is mental. How many chicken legs are in there? I think there genuinely might be a thousand chicken wings in that one bowl. <laughs> people, people want this in the morning, 7 a.m. Fried chicken. How is this? Is the, this is the future. Yeah. How do you like it? It's, this is the future of breakfast. The future. I'm of telling breakfast. you, yeah. this is much better than KFC. So today we're on our way to Hachinohe in Aomori to visit the biggest morning market in all of Japan. It's got 350 stalls and it's supposed to have just an amazing atmosphere. Uh, I'm joined by Ryotaro and as per usual, I don't really know what we're doing right now. What are we doing? Tonight, actually, we are staying at this uh, ryokan, right? And a beautiful Jap traditional Japanese, Japanese, inn. Japanese inn, yeah, with, uh, with lots of festivals actually happening inside. Seeing as we're getting up at silly o'clock the next morning, we decide to stay at a local resort, the Hoshino Resort Aomoria, a traditionally themed Japanese inn bursting with character. And you know it's going to be good from the moment you meet the baggage handler out in the resort's car park. Good job. Oh, wow. I'm loving the hat. He's wearing the, the festival hat. So for two hours every day, this pony will take your luggage from the car into the hotel. You only have to walk every second day, so. Only every second, every other day, <laughs> this pony gets the job done. Um, the resort feels like a cross between a hotel and an amusement park. An amusement park filled with apples. Not surprising, given the region of Aomori is famous for its apples. Come to this. We come out here. Oh. <laughs> Two turns. It's a real apple, isn't it? A real apple. It's giant. This is. I forget that we're in a hotel, a real con, because it's so damn big. It's more like being in a shopping centre or something. Here we've got apples on tap. Uh, then we've got apple toys, or rather just an apple in a big capsule, a shop, and then over there you can actually catch real live scallops. It's not just apples that are the symbol of Aomori though. Gigantic, colourful and somewhat terrifying, paper mache dolls called Neputa can be found throughout the resort with famous characters and warriors reenacting scenes out of Japanese folklore. This looks like it's come straight out of a child's nightmare. It's supposed to be Genghis Khan vanquishing some kind of beast who's half monkey, half lion, half fuck knows, but it's bloody terrifying. <laughs> I dread to think how long this took to make. Look at it, look at all the detail, the colours. <laughs> Imagine if he knocked it and brought the whole thing down. <laughs> but it's in the evening during dinner when the resort really comes alive, with music and performances from local festivals. And when a big float gets waved in front of you and you sit there awkwardly not quite knowing what to do. Best of all though, there's a chance for you to witness your favourite musical instrument. That's right, the shovel. Being played by local shovel champions. And no, I'm not making this up. So that's what the spade sounds like. Yes, few things can beat the sound of the shovel being played before bedtime. So it's 6.42 in the morning, but you wouldn't know it because this is so damn busy, this market. But I can't yet pronounce the name of the market. What is it? Tatehana Ganpeki Asaichi, the morning market. That's the name of the market. Apparently, um, there are about 350 shops. 350? <laughs> shops on this, on this street. And uh, every, this, uh, this is open like every Sunday. And uh, every Sunday, there are about uh, 10 to 20,000 people. 20,000 people? Yeah. Oh, God. The market is nothing short of a culinary wonderland. And it wasn't long before my appetite got the better of me and tempted me into my first healthy and nutritious dish of the day. This is surely the greatest breakfast of all. This is uh, grilled chicken, fried chicken, yakitori. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. My favorite dish in Japan, but you don't normally have it at like seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's the first time I've had it in the morning, but it works, it's fine. 
the sound of the chicken sizzling. And then watching it being marinated. Oh, I just love it. The ultimate breakfast. So my first dish of the day was uh, yakitori, grilled chicken. Second dish of the day, fried calamari. And the batter, uh, it's tempura battered, but it tastes a lot like uh, British fish and chips, so. Oh. I can't eat elegantly this time in the morning. Sorry. Oh. You never do that. No, I never do anyway. If you walk around the market for a few minutes, you'll probably spot a not so subtle character strolling around. It turns out the market has its very own premium mascot. This, this, this character is not certified. What do you mean not certified? <laughs> so, some characters are certified by city or uh, city or prefecture, but he's the one. That, he's not certified. He's not certified. He's, a, he's an uncertified mascot. It's too early in the morning to talk to a person in a big squid suit. And a squid's got a whilst eating. It sounds like he's got a he's got a mobile phone. <laughs> oh, no more. There you go. <laughs> Business card of the uncertified squid character. It says that he, he's got address there. Oh, there's his address. <laughs> That's it, says, it says Jusho, which means address, and it just says C. <laughs> See, uncertified mascots are always the best. You get free giant business card. It's not just the sheer diversity of food and products on sale either. Even the stalls themselves appeared to be just as unique and diverse. This is a, a grilled fish shop. 15 kinds of fish that he's grilling on his... Um... 15 kinds of fish? Yeah. <laughs> grilling in the back of his grilling. little truck. That's right. I love the way he's got his truck, he's got a big grill in the back of it and he's just stuffed a tent over it and that is his shop. Yeah, it looks really cool. And mobile, it looks, it looks really good too. Mobile <laughs> fish shop. Mobile fish food, yeah, grilling shop. Seriously, I'm always amazed by the kind of seafood Japanese people are able to eat. In terms of diversity, there's some really unpleasant stuff. <laughs> Squid mouth. Squid mouth. Squid mouth. That's not something you want to see for in this time of morning. <laughs> squid mouth, it, sound, it actually sounds like some sort of indie rock band. Squid, squid <laughs> mouth, squid mouth that's true. some sort of trendy indie rock band. They clearly need to put more thought into their name of their band. So Chris, this place, this, this is a fried chicken, Japanese fried chicken place. What's happened is that since this is the, uh, the one of the most popular shop in the whole market, look how many fryers they've got here. Oh come, on, come over here, come on, come on. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fryers. Nine um, fryers. And simultaneously they're frying something. And this is how popular it is. There's a giant bowl in there, absolutely filled to the top with chicken wings. I don't know how many there are, maybe a thousand. I don't even think that's, I think that might, I think there genuinely might be a thousand chicken wings in that one bowl. People, people want this in the morning, 7 a.m., fried chicken. And you are eating it, how is this it? Is the, this is the future. Yeah, and how do you like it? It's, this is the future of breakfast. <laughs> future I'm telling of breakfast. You. It's much better than KFC. It's even better than Family Mart fried chicken. And that's, that's saying something. They are bloody selling a car here. They're bloody selling a car here. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. For five man, $500. $500 you, US. You can become the proud owner of a Mitsubishi rubbish. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what model it Mitsubishi is. Mitsubishi mini car. Mitsubishi mini car. Yeah. Why don't you get it? You've always wanted to buy a car at a fish market. I've got, I've got a really big car. It's okay. <laughs> so bigger than this. My car is bigger should, than should. the Mitsubishi. You know what? This will fit you. This will, this will suit you. you. Doesn't doesn't suit my style. Well, this is completely your my style. Car is, my car is bigger than this. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. Give us a rundown on what you've eaten for breakfast this morning. All right. Um, I try to remember. I've I've, I've eaten so many. We 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 ate. We tried. Do you fry something? And we did then they fried we, something. No, 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 no. It was a grilled chicken to start with. Grilled chicken. Yeah. Then the deep fried calamari. And then um, we went for deep fried mackerel. Deep fried mackerel. And then, then, then we did we chicken. Chicken wings. Chicken wings again. after that. Then what did we, did we have? What did we yeah, have? Just, just know. everything. Deep fried, everything deep fried. Deep fried. Everything. And so now I think we should try something that's not deep fried. Nah. Ramen. Oh. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. So looks good in it. <laughs> looks good in it. To top off Ryotaro's ridiculous breakfast, comprised of a staggering amount of fried food, he's now also got a mini ramen, complete with an egg. You're not full? No. <laughs> Clearly not. Something about this market being next to the sea just makes everything better. I think it's because with one breath you can smell the sea air and fried fish 
and fried chicken, and just fried everything really. Everything's fried at this market. No, that's what we've just eaten. That's, that's why this market's so good. <laughs> If you want to stuff your face with nearly every Japanese dish there is, all in one morning, the Tatehana Morning Market is a bloody good place to start. And given that the market has only been running a few years, it's still something of a well-kept secret, despite its huge size. The market runs every Sunday morning from March to December, and for information and directions on how to find it, you can find all the details in the description box below. Many thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. It's, um, it's one of the coolest markets I've been to and it, I feel pretty nostalgic. I used to go to markets like every Sunday in the UK, uh, but there isn't much resemblance to a British market here in terms of food and produce. It's a whole different ball game. And I've got to stop using the phrase ball game. I hate it. Why do I keep saying ball game? More fried food.